say that he ran on the same track as Carl Lewis, the King, just a little bit under an hour away, and we've got this profile with him. He caught up with Kathy Freeman interviewing Carl Lewis at the press conference yesterday. It's funny, your mind goes before the body. Oh, good. Yeah. Okay. Um. I mean, obviously, you've had a tremendous. You've got great history. You look at it on paper. It's fantastic. Um. Of your known gold medals, mm -hmm. which one are you most proudest of? Um. You know, it's interesting. Well, the, by far the, the first and the last, because of the first. You know, the first one was my first one, but the, but the last one probably stands out a little bit more, and that's because this last season. Well, yeah, the past season was the first time I said, I'm not, this is the last time I'm going to do it. I mean, um, it's funny because when you get into a period in your life where you start saying, well, this is the last time I'll ever do this again. It's, it's really a strange thing to hear, Scary. you know. So yeah. it, it took a lot of people. I mean, a lot of people hung in there all year long. Um, the season started off slow, just like this season. I mean, uh, basically, it means I'm going to be Olympic champion this year because I started off in the same position last year. Mm -hmm. um, but it... Um, there were a lot of people that were there at that time, kept encouraging me, stayed involved. And I was really happy not only to win the medal, but for the people that kind of were yeah. there that I know were just biting their nails off in the stands, you know, saying, God, can you do it? Yeah. Th that's who I was really happiest for because yeah. they were there all the way through. They get a lot of joy out of what you do. Were you um, really disappointed when you didn't get a 10th Olympic? No, that was... the chance to? Yeah, that wasn't... That was kind of overplayed quite a bit by, you know, a lot of people. And that story became a story of itself. When, because there was really only one issue, and the issue was whether the coach decided wanted me to run or not, and he didn't. So you know that was kind of it. So obviously, or a lot of times when you don't have anything to fill in the blanks, stories take on lives mm. themselves. But um, the one thing I did resent about the whole thing is how people are making such a deal, big deal about getting the tenth medal. I mean, they didn't realize that I was awfully darn proud to get nine. nine. I mean, you know, <laughs> I mean, it was really kind of, a, it was ridiculous. It's like, you guys are making all this big deal about getting 10, and I have nine <laughs> medals. I mean, that's not enough. <laughs> so it, was, it really, you know, when you really stop and think about it, I mean, I don't think, I think they got so wrapped up in the 10th, the 10th, the 10th, and um, that we forgot that I was awfully proud of that. And, um, you know, the games ended, and of, of that whole situation, the only sad thing is that we didn't win the relay. You know, it wasn't yeah. really whether I got it or not. It's the fact that we didn't win it, you know. So yeah. um, that was that, and, and the games was a great experience for me. Well, great press conference on uh, great.